is you must count the number of leading zeros before the first digit. All these zeros you see here are leading zeros because they are the ones that start, they are the beginning of these figures. So how many zeros can you find here? One. It means the logarithm of this number is going to start from bar one, that is minus one, point whatever is going to now be in the fractional part or the mantissa. So what's the next step? The next step is you are now going to find the logarithm of 5.2. So you must, after the first digit, put a point and then punch it in your calculator. So whatever you're going to get, you're going to put, indicate the fractional part of that logarithm. That is the mantissa. So if we take our calculators now and we say log 5.2. So what you're going to get is 0 0.71600, but we don't need to write 0 again. We already have bar 1, point seven six seven one six zero. Let's leave it at that. So the log name of 0 0.52 is bar 1.7160. Now the same goes for the second example. How many zeros can you count here? 1, 2. So you... In your characteristic you're going to have bar two point so the next step you're you're going to go to your calculators now and punch three point four eight so let's check the logarithm of three point four eight so that's going to give us zero point five four one one six zero point five four one six we're only interested in the mantissa so that zero has already been occupied by bar two. And finally, you have here one, two, three, four. So that's going to be bar four point. So we're now checking the logarithm of 7.215. 7. Point two one five. Seven. Seven point two one five. And that gives us zero point eight five eight two. So that's how to find the logarithms using your calculator or even using your four figure table. All you need to do is count how many zeros before the first digit that indicates what will be in your characteristic. All right. And once you've done that, the first digit after right after the first digit, put a point and find the logarithm in your calculator. So that's how to find out. So now let's solve some examples where we would need to manipulate this.